Hi everyone. So now we learned that how we can make list from API data in React Native. Even in one of the recent video, we already created a list from API data. So what is so special about uh, this part? See here we will focus on the style as well as because in last video we did not focus on the style. We just get the data and uh, just display on the UI. So firstly, uh, we will add some uh, uh, better style as compared to previous video. Second thing is. Uh, we will add two button with the each user or you can see that with respect to each user we will uh, uh, integrate two buttons first one for delete and second one for the update in this part there will be a static button there will be no operation on uh, just uh, uh, pressing on that button but in the upcoming part we will integrate delete and update uh, api also once we will click on the delete button the data will be deleted and once we will just update there then the another page will be open with the uh, already uh, pre-filled data and we, we can update this and all all right so now we can start with the points so first of all we will uh, fetch the data from api through a function after that uh, we will display this data in a list and we have to add some uh, uh, style also so that uh, it will look uh, little bit better and at last we will cover some important interview questions also uh, even most of the question uh, you will learn there for style because there is you will find that we are we are using lots of style there so uh, now we can start with the code so as we will write our code in the app.js so currently there is a uh, no much code is written there so this is just a blank view is there all right so first of all i will just create a function and let's say function name is get api data or something that could be an arrow function after inside this as we know that whenever we are creating uh, calling a function uh, calling an api inside a function we can make it async so that we can handle the promise easily after that uh, let me just take a const for url and this is my api url and i have to just replace the ip with the 10 dot 0.2.2 right and after that i will uh, just another take result result variable and we can put the await just before that we can use fetch api function and uh, we can pass url there after that we can just overload the result with the uh, json format because current uh, by default result has the readable for uh, stream readable format so uh, this this is just converted in the json format after that we can take a constant why i am not explaining anything if you are just confused about that then i will request you to watch our previous videos because we already integrated six or seven APIs. so in these all of these videos i explain everything like what is fetch what is await what what is json everything right so you can watch our previous video so now I am taking a state and there I will use use state hook by default we can provide a blank array to it perfect and if we have the data in result we can just set data state with the result after that inside the view we will check if data dot length is greater than zero or you can say that if this is true right if that will be only true if there is some data zero will uh, never be a true in javascript all right so in that case we can say that uh, we will apply a map function on data right and uh, there uh, map function already have a callback function right and there we can put a view like this let me just close this view again that we can do the next line and if there is a no data then colon will be null perfect everything is working fine now we can uh, just get the one parameter from the uh, map function and uh, we can just simply write there item dot name and let's see are we getting some result there or not mm -mm. no result reason being this api is not getting cold yet so what we can do that for this we can just simply use use effect hook right 
just create a callback function inside it just call this api data function and we want to call it only once then just put a blank array at the last all right and let's see still we are getting error okay yeah we can use their text input right normal text otherwise it will not render any screen uh, uh, string data here you can see that we got the all uh, names there but they are not looking beautiful so what we can do that we can add some style over there right so for that i i am just importing uh, style sheet from there right and uh, there simply just take const uh, styles is style sheet dot create and first of all i am creating a container right so i'm just putting there container object there and uh, it could be flex one at the top so because we need a flexible screen for there right so i'm putting a flex not a flex styles dot container and if we just need to add some style we will add there only all right perfect after that what we can do there here you can see that we have a normal text but if you want to apply some uh, flex kind of thing then uh, view is a better option always right so i am just uh, writing a view there closing it and inside it i am putting the uh, text item right so first one is name second one is let's say h and last one is email here here you can see that we got the old data but this is displayed in a single column not in the rows so what we can do that for that we again we have to add some style so i am adding a data wrapper there right and uh, data wrapper will be just applied on that view so i'm putting there style styles dot data wrapper perfect now i am adding a background color there let me add background color could be let's say orange even you can add some other color also right you will find the everything is now uh, getting orange right okay so uh, next thing that we can do there we can just just add a margin right so let me just pick it the next line margin could be let's say 8 pixel 5 pixel whatever however you want to add but still the data in the single line so just simply put there flex direction row and here we go they are in now single uh, row but uh, the thing is they are just sticking with with each other then you can what you can do there just put their justified content space around and here we go now we have the proper space you can add bit uh, padding also padding 10 10 is choose you can add let's say 5 perfect right 5 is good and margin we can just decrease here to 5 and if you want to just increase the padding then you can do that now let's say 7 and margin should not be 85 it should be only 5 perfect okay so these things are uh, working fine no issue now let's say we want to add some buttons also there right so what you can do there just add a simple button and it should be imported from the react native right and we can add a simple title also there title delete similarly i am creating a one more button could be update but now the thing is everything is not just uh, in the aligned way here you can see that some uh, sometime uh, there is a uh, there is no proper space between email id and these buttons right because sometimes the email name is a bit larger sometimes they are smaller the better solution is what we can do there just add a style there right even you can just create a class for this but uh, this is a bit sm uh, small style so i will just copy it from there uh, because this is only one tag 
so i will just add style like this with the all of the view inside the map save it perfectly fine next thing is here you can see that the email address is not coming in a single line so even if you want then you can remove because name is age is already there right if you want then you can remove it perfect now this is much better okay so here you can see that these are just uh, pressable but there is a no operation for a moment but now, now let's say you want to create a header also like what is that this is a name email id uh, college name school name what is that and what is that a salary or uh, age or what right so we have to create a header also so i am just copying this data outside this uh, map and i don't need to put there uh, this item and all just simply put their name after that we can say that age we don't need two buttons also if you want then you can just add only one even we don't need button now we just need a text there and we can say that uh, operation operations like this perfect so this is the way that how we can just uh, uh, render button with the each user and uh, in next part we will integrate the delete uh, api for the users and in, after that we will update the uh, integrate the update part uh, update api also right so that's all for this part and thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question query you can ask me on the instagram or you can ask in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video this is my patreon donation number thank you guys